Hello everybody, Andrea here. So I have been a dental professional for 18 years, but I have also had my own businesses for 18 years as well. My first business was Dental L Tutoring where I was tutoring students online. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about what the differences are between having a nine to five job and working for yourself. And I'm not gonna give you the obvious answers, such as working nine to five for somebody else. Well, you work nine to five, you do your job and you go home and don't worry about it. But what if you have your own business? People often say, those who have their own business is because they don't want to work the nine to five for somebody else. They would, they would rather work 12 hours working for themselves, but a more flexible schedule. And it's very, very true. You really though have to manage your work life balance when you have your own business, but that's not a bad thing. I mean, that's, that's, that's not a bad thing at, at all, right? Because you can make your own money, set your own schedule, but it's very easy to just say, okay, I'm just going to quickly answer an email here and go upstairs. And then two hours later, I'm like, oh, geez, it took me two, two hours to answer those emails, you know, but working for somebody else nine to five, you basically punch in, punch out, and then you don't have to worry about it. Often entrepreneurs work so much more and people ask them like, well, you work from home. Like, why are you never available? And we say, well, I have my own business. It's a lot more work than just working nine to five, but I wouldn't change it for anything because I can set my own schedule and make my own money. But having your own business also means the money might not always become be coming in, depending on the type of business you have. I'm all about passive income. So I'm making money even if I'm not doing something, like, like physically doing something, um, providing a service, such as my tutoring courses. They're on autopilot. It did take me time to make my tutoring courses. So I did have to spend hours, weeks, months developing the PowerPoint, the quizzes, the contents. But now they're online and anybody can purchase them anytime. I don't have to do any any additional work. I do have live live classes, maybe once a week or once a month or twice a week, depending on the course. But I'm not working eight hours every day on that course. So that is true passive income. I could be doing grocery shopping and I get an email saying, congratulations, you had two signups for your course today. Well, that course might be $400. So I just made $800 for doing nothing. But I did have to create that content. And I probably worked harder than anybody to create that content. It probably took two months, 10 hours a day, but guess what? Now I don't have to spend that time. Versus if you're working for somebody else, you have to physically be there. You're providing a service and you have to be there. If, you do, if you're not there, if you're sick, well, you don't get paid. Or even if you get paid sick days, okay, well, that's nice. But you also have steady income. So some people prefer that too. You know if you're not working, you're not getting paid. But you also know you're working for somebody else. So you don't have to worry of... Oh, am I going to get any customers today? Is anybody going to sign up for my tutoring course today? I really need the money. Um, I need extra money. So I think I'm going to work on Saturday. My boss will really appreciate it. Maybe you get paid overtime. So you see where the differences is, where the differences are. If I don't create or I don't work, I'm not getting paid. I'm my own boss. But also, if I call in sick, I don't feel bad about it. You might feel bad calling in sick to your boss. That might be a constant stress where you might have to take time off because of the kids. You might want to plan a vacation. You might be sick. Your 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 uh, family member might need you for something, but your boss doesn't let you take time off. Or they say, okay, if you take another day off this month, you are fired. You know, who knows? But with me, I can take time off any time I want and it's okay. But when I take time off, I don't get paid unless it's passive income that I talked about earlier. For example, I'm a mobile dental hygienist. If I'm not seeing patients, I'm not being paid. But I love having my own business because I can set my own schedule. I would much prefer to see patients working in my own business than working in a dental office making so much less and having to go by their schedule. Working nine hours a day, not getting a lunch, making much, much less um, than I would much prefer to work for myself. But when I don't have patients, I don't get paid. That is not passive income. Passive income is what I talked about earlier. When I have tutoring courses that I've already created and people can sign up for them online anytime. So 
what do you want? Do you want to work nine to five for somebody else? You don't necessarily have to worry about the money because you know it's going to be there. If you want to make more money, let's say you're taking a vacation, you can probably pick up hours at work. Okay. Or do you want to work for yourself? Set your own schedule. It could be two to five. It could be two to nine. It could be 10 to four. You might need two days off a week. You might have to be off at three o'clock every week to pick up the kits or whatever. Um, but when you don't work, you, you don't get paid in most cases, unless it's passive income. But you also have to think about other things of having your own business. There's more responsibility working for somebody else. Well, there's no responsibility. They have their responsibility. It could be liability insurance. You might have to think about marketing, advertising. You might need, as I said, additional insurance. You might need to hire an accountant, a bookkeeper, all of these other things. Whereas if you work for yourself or sorry, work for somebody else, you don't have to do that. Personally, I can't imagine working for anybody else. It's a lot of work having your own business, but once you get started, once you get going, these things become easier and you kind of get a knack for it. But quite often when people start their own business, they're very overwhelmed. They don't know how to handle it and they give up. Just don't give up because it's worth it. But I've also known people that have started their own business and then they realize this isn't worth it to me. I just, I have to do too much. I'm always answering emails. I feel like I have to always be on. I'd rather go to work, come home, clock in, clock out. Working for somebody else is better for me. So definitely think about it. But if you're looking to start your own business, I am here for you. But think about it. Maybe working nine to five for somebody else is better for you and easier. Being an entrepreneur isn't for everybody, but it's definitely for me and I can't imagine doing anything else. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.